So then, on to these physical elements. This is really something new for many, uh, for many enterprise architects because the physical world has largely been out of scope. I, and I think that's still the case for TOGAF. It addresses the IT world, but it doesn't concern the physical world. And I think that should be something we have to uh, have a closer look at as, as enterprise architects. So what we did is we extended this technology layer with elements for modeling the physical world. And you'll see the, the elements in the next slide. So that supports things like manufacturing, uh, logistics, uh, all kinds of transport, um, energy, all kinds of physical environments. Healthcare is also an example that uh, Ivor will address uh, at the end. Uh, increasingly, you see, of course, the integration of healthcare and IT as well. All kinds of devices starting from, say, your Fitbit that track uh, your, your health, track your behavior. Um, and that, that's really what we want to model as well. It's not just IT systems. IT is intertwined with the physical world in, in various ways, and we really need to be able to express that as architects. Um, so this is very, well, I think very important for people looking at uh, technology developments like the Internet of Things. It will help you in modeling that. And we have done it in such a way that it is very closely integrated. It's not a separate set of concepts. But we use the existing concept node in Archimate. You might know that. It's the sort of abstract high-level concept for modeling the, uh, in, in the technology layer, for modeling active structure in the technology layer. But we also um, added concepts that extend node, lie, well, in, in, you know, the existing concepts like device, which is a specialization of node. But we will have a concept called equipment for physical equipment. Uh, in the same way that we have device for IT equipment. And they both are extensions of nodes, so you can easily uh, create combined nodes that consist of both IT and physical elements, and in that way express things like computer controlled machinery, Internet of Things, etc. And um, we also reuse the existing behavior elements. So we didn't add any other behavior elements uh, to these, to this uh, physical set of concepts, we reuse the physical behavior, the, the technology behavior elements that we already have, so that you can have integrated uh, technology functions or technology processes for both the IT and the physical world. Well, onto a small example, um, or, uh, or onto the, the, well, the, 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 the concepts, and then onto a small example. So first of all, we have added a concept called facility. And a facility, that's a physical structure or environment, typically an environment where you will put your equipment. So equipment is the next physical element. That can be any kind of physical machinery, instruments that can uh, be used to create or store or move or transform materials. And material, that will, of course, be the next concept. Uh, yesterday, I had a discussion with someone who asked me, uh, if, uh, well, if, if you're a farmer, how would you model your horse? Well, a horse would be equipment as well. Like a tractor is equipment, a horse would be equipment. Might be a bit strange, but you could even use it in that in uh, that area. But you can model all kinds of smart devices with this, uh, like in healthcare or like a black box in your car, etc. So facility, you, you can see the symbol. It looks like a factory, but any kind of facility, uh, you can have a laboratory, or as we had a discussion in the Artemis forum, uh, if you're a, a, a mushroom grower, the grotto in which you grow the mushrooms, that could be a facility as well. Then we have material. Material is tangible physical matter or physical elements. So anything you create or, or uh, build with physical matter is modeled like material. Uh, it can also be stuff like uh, fuel. That's also material. And of course, we need a way to transport that. So we have also added the concept called distrib distribution network. And that's a way to transport physical materials or energy uh, in much the same way that we have a communication network for this, uh, transporting information, bits and bytes. And this is also the reason that we renamed the communication path concept to just path, because distribution network is a specialization of path, like, or is a, uh, is a realization of path, just like uh, a communication network is uh, a realization of a path. So path is now the generic concept, like node is the generic concept, uh, for these connections. So we slightly extended the meaning as well. So you can exchange more than just data. You can also exchange material there. So just to show you a small example, very simple, of a manufacturing plant 
with an assembly line inside that assembles uh, vehicle telematics appliances from two different kinds of material, pre-assembled circuit boards and internal antenna. Those are put together and then you create this appliance. These appliances then are distributed via a local and national distribution center and a distribution network. Well, overseas shipping is one and local trucking is the other. So these are the concepts, really just the new concepts that we added. In this picture, there's no behavior. Uh, as I mentioned before, we didn't add any other behavior concepts. So that's still the same uh, technology behavior we have. So you can easily model, say, the assembly process if you want to, as the behavior of the assembly line. So that's the physical set of concepts that we added. 